All right, folks. I am here in Guadeloupe. Uh, some people might think it's pronounced Guadalupe, but it's Guadalupe. And I'm driving towards the other side of the island. Guadalupe is actually Guadalupe's actually kind of like two really large islands. Uh, they say it looks like a big butterfly. So I'm driving way to the west. Not sure how long it's gonna take. Maybe about 50 minutes to hour. Head northwest toward Route de Baudufort, then turn right onto Route de Baudufort. Turn right onto Route de Baudufort, then slight left. And today is Saturday, uh, 11, slight left. 11.50 a.m. I don't really expect any unusual traffic. Shouldn't be much traffic. 500 meters turn left. Now I had to get used to driving on this side of the street again, which is not a big deal. Driving on this side of the street is natural for me. The other side, uh, I had to think about it a little bit. Now you'll see all these uh, unusual roundabout systems here. In 200 meters at the roundabout, continue straight to stay on route LE changer. Uh, trying to drive here at night was kind of difficult because the lighting is not really that good and they have these weird roads and people were uh, meters slight left it was raining a little bit slight left keep left I haven't been too happy with my uh, Airbnb here. Uh, this car's slow. Yeah, this car's so slow I couldn't uh, accelerate. Kind of like a very small Volkswagen. I'm not sure of the model. It's just a really, really small Volkswagen. It doesn't accelerate very good. This 
this car has a lot of road this car has a lot of road noise so I think the audio in this video is gonna suck because it's, it's loud for me in this car These people in front of me must be tourists because they don't know where they're going either. Uh, go ahead, drive slow. Uh, I don't really have a need to hurry.
Uh, I'm not sure what lane I should be in. You know what? I'm looking at Google Maps right now and it shouldn't have made me do this. It made me get off the highway and then go back on the highway later. Google Maps just made me do something very bad. I see the big career four store that I wanted to I was thinking about going to but I uh, have all my luggage here so I'm, exit the roundabout I'm definitely not getting out continue for two kilometers now you see I was on the highway and Google Maps made me do this I should have stayed on the highway Now basically, right up here I'm getting back on the highway, so you can see Google Maps directed me to go off the highway and do this crazy thing. Slow car. Let's see.
exit the roundabout. Sugar Continue tank. for one kilometer. I don't know what that is. the radios in French. How much to talk about. <laughs> and I kind of like Guadalupe. I had some problems and stuff, but I don't really feel like talking. I just want to drive. So I'm driving to my uh, new hotel, and that's what I want to do. And I enjoy driving, but um, I'm making this video, but not really. I'm making this video because I'm driving here, but. I don't really feel like making the video, you know. Uh, well, I, I feel like driving. I don't feel like talking, uh, basically. The radio here sucks. tell you when you play like the Latino music in your YouTube videos it gets it almost every time I don't know why maybe because it's so unique Les Tchèques en ont marre de leur classe politique et de ses partis traditionnels peu importe désormais leur tendance pour la première fois depuis la partition de la Tchécoslovaquie en 1993 c'est une formation n'appartenant ni à la droite ni à la gauche classique qui est annoncée comme le grand vainqueur de ces élections présentées comme un tournant dans l'histoire moderne du pays 
largement en tête dans les sondages. Le mouvement populiste, action des citoyens mécontents, dirigé par l'homme d'affaires Andrei Babich, est annoncé comme le grand vainqueur de ce scrutin. Loin devant la social-démocratie du Premier ministre sortant, Bronislav Sobotka et les partis conservateurs. Malgré le taux de chômage le plus faible de toute l'Union européenne, des finances publiques saines et une amélioration du niveau de vie de la majorité d'entre eux, les Tchèques sont là de l'action de partis qu'ils estiment corrompus et d'un système politique qu'ils jugent inefficace malgré une régulière alternance au pouvoir. Ils veulent donc du changement, un changement que représente aujourd'hui à leurs yeux un Andrei Babich pragmatique, incarnation auto-prétendue de l'antipolitique. À Prague, pour Radio Vatican, Guillaume Narguet. Avec le décalage horaire, la dernière journée de campagne électorale au Japon est sur le point de s'achever. Demain dimanche, les Japonais iront voter. La comète de Harvey. Ah, la comète de Harvey. Oui, oui. oui malheureusement, elle ne passe pas qu'une fois par an. La hein? liste des actrices agressées s'allonge. Gwyneth oui, Paltrow, Asia Argento, Emma Decon, Léa Seydoux plus récemment. Même le pingouin de la marche de l'empereur ont été abusés. <rire> ah oui, un pingouin, oui, c'est quand même beau dégueulasse, ça, Harvey. Hein? <rire> C'est un petit peu moins bien, hein, moins 3 places cette semaine. Ne bougez surtout pas, on continue à remonter votre classement. Et à midi, nous verrons si Davido est toujours en tête avec Full sur Énergie Antille. Profitez à fond de votre week-end. Très content d'être avec vous en tout cas. Le Hit Énergie. Le Hit Énergie. Numéro 11. 11. When we be 
I'm the only one you want. 